Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with the latest news of the Montgomery County Council. Up first, volunteer troops assembled at every mine in Rockville to pack supply bags, and they received detailed instructions before heading out to count how many residents are sleeping rough across Montgomery County. Okay. On this cold January night, council members joined volunteers to hit the streets in effort to get a rough snapshot of how many people are living without shelter in Montgomery County. I'm proud of our efforts to date to try and house as many homeless residents as possible. The council members joined more than 100 volunteers combing the streets of Rockville for folks who might need assistance. I'm Craig and this is Evan. We're at the point in time count survey. Can you give us your full name? They were equipped with supplies and here. offers of help. Some gloves, some socks, some chapstick, and then we've got a McDonald's gift card there. And get an understanding of what the county needs to do to provide support. You no, know, it's, it's one of those where if, if you're truly an elected official, it's about caring about your community. It's about caring about making sure that you're making a difference, um, th that you're actually making a change for the better. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Listen, thank you so much for completing this survey. God bless, and we'll be in touch. The uh, best education that we can receive as to how life is here in Montgomery County is by walking the streets. And whether it's walking in a parade on a holiday or walking on a street in a sub-freezing evening in the middle of January, um, this is our community. And the first-hand experiences that we witness and that we see is what really propels us to do our jobs and to make life better for everybody in Montgomery County. As the night wore on, more of those opportunities presented themselves. One that ended the evening on a positive note with council members helping a homeless gentleman in getting the attention he needed. And trying to make sure that we bring everybody uh, into the part of Montgomery County that is so bright, that is so light, that does have uh, so much opportunity, but we realize that there are some who don't ha have access to that light and that we want to make sure that we're uh, including everybody as, as we can. This weekend marked the 40th anniversary of the Women's Legislative Briefing. Coordinated by the Montgomery County Commission for Women, it brings together leaders and advocates to address issues affecting women and girls across the state. 2019 was a big year for Councilmember Nancy Navarro, and 2020 started off on a positive note as well. Over the weekend, Councilmember Navarro was inducted into the Women's History Archive as part of the annual Women's Legislative Briefing. The day was full of events and speakers and began with a breakfast where Navarro spoke about support and the legacy that the work of all women creates. I think it also speaks volumes um, to what it means to be part of this community, this amazing county, uh, that somebody you know who came from a different country, who has made Montgomery County my home, I've raised my children here, my husband launches business here, um, that I would have the opportunity to not only to serve uh, in the capacity of the Board of Education and at the County Council, Council, but now be inducted in, in the history archive. So I've said to my daughters, hey, when I have grandchildren and great grandchildren, they can look me up. And finally, Montgomery County resident and Congressman Jamie Raskin has a district office right here in Rockville. And recently he spoke to Councilmember Tom Hucker about how he's been talking with constituents about the impeachment process. Well, the, our constituents, as you know, are everything to us. Uh, I think about the meaning of the word constituent. You know, a cons constituent means member of or part of, and I feel like our constituents are part of us and what we do. And I've never felt that more strongly than with this impeachment thing where everywhere I go, everybody is watching, they're engaged with it, they're thinking about the Constitution, they're talking about it. Uh, I just had a, um, a, a little mini town hall meeting this morning, a coffee with your congressman, and but basically people wanted to know about this process and about upholding integrity in government and what we're going to do mm -hmm. to restore the rule of law in America. So I, you know, I get to represent the most amazing people in the world in Montgomery and Frederick and Carroll County. And um, these are people who are engaged in their neighborhoods, in their communities, but also um, in the country and in the world. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy.